Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and we just got a trailer for Uncharted, the upcoming film based on the game franchise from Naughty Dog, starring Tom Holland as treasure hunter Nathan Drake, Mark Wahlberg as his partner Sully, but no mustache, because how can I keep talking fast with a mustache? The mustache slows me down, baby. I gotta kiss your mother with this mouth. That's right, everyone is in love with these casting choices. But no, I am eager to check out this trailer to see for myself how they adapt the Uncharted games, games that uh, I played when I was younger, but I honestly don't remember a lot of that. Those were the dark times before I viewed my nerdiness as a strength. But yeah, I'm gonna react to this trailer, give my honest initial impressions, and explain what this movie is and a few details that you might have missed from this trailer. Cool? Here we go. What are they doing? Why did Sony always do the teaser to the trailer? Just start with the trailer. Anyway. There are places out there you can't find on any map. That sounds like the music from the Uncharted games. Like They're a piano gone. version. They're just lost. Looks like he's with Chloe there. PlayStation. Is this Led Zeppelin? A little young for a bartender, aren't you? A little old for prom, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like they're using Ramble On. I don't, you don't need here. this music. Why the this path Ferdinand Magellan took to sail around the world. You know your history. Yeah, you These don't treasures have never been found. Five billion easy. Woo! It's a lot of Snapple. I think okay, it looks like some brother. blueprints. Wait, you know my brother Sam? Sam, okay. I think that's what a fourth game. We got the ring in there. That's a big deal. Find that gold. All right. Find him too. Pretty good. Yeah, they don't need this music. Yeah, this? I'm not crazy I'm about the music. Sally doesn't have any friends. I should not even want to drink. You are a collector. Well, I dabble. I don't dabble. My family has been looking for this fortune for a very long time. So much mm. blood. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm pretty sure he just threatened to kill me. And don't touch your ear like that. You look like an idiot. Is that a Casino Royale <laughs> joke? I've been dreaming about this stuff since I was a kid. My brother Sam left one final clue. Who is Sam gonna be? Oh, are they doing the... This is from the third game, I think. Cool. Oh, sweet. Oh, that looks great. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I'm digging that. Not digging the music, but that, man, that plane crash is awesome. I shouldn't have come out to play with a big boy's being because you're about to get a proper Scottish welcome. What? That's good. <laughs> oh, crap. oh crap, that's the line. He did it. He, he said the thing. Okay. <laughs> you know what we needed? We needed a bit of a Tom Cruise mummy. <laughs> As he fell there. Okay, promising. I have some concerns. But promising. I mean, a bit of background on the Uncharted games if you're not familiar. The games follow the uh, treasure hunter Nathan Drake, Nate Drake, played by Tom Holland in this movie. But this movie has been in development for years. Originally, there's a big push to have uh, Nathan Fillion play Nathan Drake. I mean, he really is dream casting in that role. Like, I was born to play that role. He might be a bit too old for it now. But I would love if they could bring him into this franchise somehow. And actually, I think like 10 years ago, they were gonna have Mark Wahlberg play this character in a version of the movie directed by David O. Russell. And they're gonna have Robert De Niro play Sully, that would have been weird, and I'm kind of glad it never happened. But it does explain, I guess, why Marky Mark is now in this role as Sully. Refuses to get a mustache, but I assume he'll uh, don a mustache at some point in this movie. He better. There better be some picture of him with a mustache. But the appeal of these games is that they've always uh, kind of evoked those cinematic tropes of the treasure hunter genre, right? So Indiana Jones, the Brendan Fraser mummy movie, National Treasure. In the games, uh, voice actor Nolan North, one of the greats voices Nathan Drake, I actually got to meet Nolan North. I interviewed him when uh, he appeared on a, a Rick and Morty after show that we did. He's a really great guy and just brings in this natural swagger and charm. And I think what we love about Tom Holland is in his portrayal of Peter Parker, he's a smart guy and he commits so hard to the stunts. But what's so lovable about his version of Peter Parker is he's just kind of a dope, like he doesn't have that street smarts. He's so slow on the uptake, despite being a brilliant engineer who has Spidey sense. However, we've already started to see Tom Holland tackle meteor roles like his 
girl in Cherry, the devil all the time. And I think he can totally pull off this role. He just seems a little young right now, but that's what they're doing. They're doing an origin story. This video is brought to you by Privacy. Privacy lets you buy things online using virtual cards, protecting your identity and bank information on the internet. As a treat for my viewers, new customers get $5 to spend on their first purchase when they go to privacy.com slash new rockstars to sign up now. Privacy makes it super easy to manage your financial lives online while keeping all of your information secure. By generating virtual numbers, privacy masks your bank information so you never have to worry about giving it out to those baddies lurking behind the internet corners. It's easy to share cards with friends and family using privacy's shared cards. Parents can set caps on how much the kids can spend and businesses can send cards with spending limits to employees for company expenses. I like privacy for recurring payments like streaming services. Like I've set up a privacy account, I've linked my bank account, and created a card specifically for my Netflix subscription payment. Privacy will ding me if someone tries to charge the card twice or if the charge exceeds the amount you set for it. And if I want to plan to cancel my subscription a couple months ahead, I can just do all that ahead of time and then the card expires and I don't have to remember to cancel. It's awesome. Fill out your credit card info in the privacy.com Chrome and Firefox extension and you're one click away from spending smartly and safely. Head to privacy.com slash new rockstars and sign up for an account. New customers will automatically get $5 to spend on your first purchase. So go to privacy.com slash new rockstars to sign up now. This seems like it's pulling a lot from the fourth Uncharted game in which the mystery of Nate's brother Sam comes up. Although this airplane cargo lily pad jump is exactly what you have to do at one point in the third game. It looks really cool here. I'm really glad that they're including it. It's kind of like what they do in Resident Evil. You know, they kind of pull bits and pieces from different games and put them all in a movie, but the movie is really kind of its own thing. I don't mind them doing that with Uncharted because Uncharted is already so steeped in the kind of lore and tropes that we saw in Indiana Jones. So for them to just make another Indiana Jones style movie out of this, I don't feel like it's sacrilege. Although I do hope it has that kind of sacred respect of the beyond that the Indiana Jones movies do. That's my concern with this movie and really with all movies these days is that they are not willing to go as dark as the original Indiana Jones movies did. Like Raiders of the Lost Ark ends by blowing up and melting Nazis using the power of God. The second one basically started the whole MPAA debate over how movies should be rated when you had characters getting their hearts ripped out and they were burned alive. The Last Crusade has them sipping from the Holy Grail and turning into a dusty skeleton. And what's cool about the Uncharted games is they do usually go in that supernatural direction. Like you find out that there are zombies on an island marooned there from World War II. I hope this movie goes in that dark direction. I truly do. But going through this trailer, it looks like it opens with uh, Nate on um, a side mission with Chloe, character who comes into the franchise in the second game, I believe. I wonder if this movie's gonna open the way Raiders of the Lost Ark does on this kind of side mission, which, oh, hey, uh, featured Alfred Molina, Tom Holland's co-star in Spider-Man No Way Home. That was him. That was one of his early roles. I mean, I think it's great when these stories just start in the heat of the action, right? And if you listen closely, this is the music, a piano version from the Uncharted games. And I wish that that score was the music they kind of stick with. Because while I love Led Zeppelin, I love Ramble On, it just feels like totally out of place with this. This just feels like a classic Sony move with these trailers. They just bring in a random popular song. But I'm guessing they're going for the formula that was successful for them with the new Jumanji reboot right? Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, Jumanji The Next Level, which both prominently feature these ACDC songs and they kind of figure, well, we'll have like this Indiana Jones adventure aesthetic while bringing in a popular rock song and they think by bringing in classic rock that will help the formula here, but it doesn't need it. So again, this is going to be the origin story of how Sully and Nate meet by tracking down uh, Ferdinand Magellan's lost treasure, a treasure that uh, Nate's brother Sam has been chasing after. Now the question is going to be, and I think finding and reconnecting with his brother Sam is going to be the true treasure that Nate is trying to pursue. Making all of us ask, Sam's gonna be some fun cameo, right? And the way that uh, Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, there were some surprise cameos in that movie. So who do you think Sam's gonna be played by? I'm guessing it's gonna be someone like Andrew Garfield. I think that'd be a really fun choice. I mean, I, I obviously Andrew Garfield to McGuire. I want those guys to be in No Way Home, but just to throw Garfield in this movie, he already has that relationship with Sony. I think it'd be fun. Now what's interesting is Ferdinand Magellan is the great explorer who is credited for uh, circumnavigating the globe. Magellan himself did not make it all the way back to Portugal, right? His expedition, one of his other ships, did make it back. He, however, died in the East Indies in the Malay Archipelago, modern day Philippines. So now it looks like this movie's lore is explaining that there was some kind of like 
billion dollar treasure. I actually wonder if Antonio Banderas' character, who's gonna be like the rival treasure hunter, the villain of this, which is another common trope from these kind of movies, he may be a descendant of Ferdinand Magellan. Antonio Banderas is a Spanish actor. He mentions his family has been looking for this treasure for uh, years. He may feel like this is his birthright. And it looks like they are planning a heist from an auction of this one artifact, uh, this cross with uh, an interesting hatch mark halfway through it. Almost like this could be a key. Actually, later we see Nate and Chloe doing this double turn of what looks like a key. I wonder if this cross actually serves that function. It could have a twin. And it reminds me a lot of the Cross of Coronado from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. We see Nate reading this postcard from his brother sent from San Sebastian that's in Spain. There's a whole world you haven't seen, but you will promise S. And then using the lighter, he reveals this hidden ink saying, the blank, are you coming? So I think he found this new clue and that's what leads him on this journey. Now there's a lot of focus in this trailer on this ring. This is a big Easter egg from the games. It's used throughout the games. It's the ring of Sir Francis Drake that Nathan Drake thinks he is a descendant of, for Sir Francis Drake being the, the great explorer and pirate. This ring is a big deal. It actually shows up as an Easter egg in The Last of Us Part Two. Now, we learn later in the games that he is not an actual descendant because uh, Sir Francis Drake never had any children and Nathan just kind of adopted the name in order to pay tribute to his hero, like many scoundrels do. In Indiana Jones, he named himself after the dog. We named the dog Indiana. What's that? I, I can't understand Scottish accents. It's not that hard to understand. On this ring is the Latin phrase Sic Parvis Magna, greatness from from small beginnings and on it is the date January 29th 1596 which Nate finds is the date after Sir Francis Drake died thinking that he might have faked his own death. The ring is used as like a, a decoder ring to unlock puzzles throughout the game. I hope they use it in that kind of way in the movies. At the end of the trailer we see this red Mercedes pushing Nate out of the plane as he says Nathan Drake's big line from the games, oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> This is the car that we see Antonio Banderas' character driving earlier on in the trailer, so this must be his supply plane as they're both racing to this next area. And it looks like they will find Magellan's lost treasure on this ship that is hidden in this cave, kind of like the ship of One-Eyed Willie in The Goonies. I think we also see this ship at the end of A Thief's End, the fourth game. But I honestly don't have a problem with Tom Holland in this role. I think people too often typecast actors just based off of what they're more famously known as. The job of the actor is to act, to emulate new roles, to transform them Themselves. And I think Tom Holland's fully capable of doing that. If anything, I, I'm less crazy about Mark Wahlberg playing Sully. I think that would have been a fun role for Nathan Fillion to play. But I think a lot of people who play video games are hoping for one movie to fully capture the experience of playing a video game, a true adaptation that is super successful and like wins awards. I don't know if this movie will do that. I think it might do a better job than the Resident Evil series did. I think the Mortal Kombat movie that came out this past year was really fun. It didn't have the tournament in it, but it at least stayed true to the sentiment of the mythology of the games and the fighting was amazing. The violence was sick. I think ultimately what Uncharted is trying to do is just create a new Indiana Jones franchise, which I'm okay with. I don't have a problem with. I think people who didn't play Uncharted will probably enjoy this movie. Ultimately, the Naughty Dog game series adaptation that I'm most excited about is The Last of Us on HBO. Just because The Last of Us is already such a cinematic experience. They don't have to do that much to make it a great miniseries on HBO. I think it's gonna be fantastic. But let me know your thoughts on this trailer. Do you think it's gonna be a good movie? Who would you cast? in these roles. And also, because New Rockstars has uh, done a bit of gaming content in the past, we'd love to do more of it, but we want to hear from you guys what you want to see us do. What kind of gaming content would you like to see more from us? What kind of content do you think we could contribute to what's here on YouTube already? And a reminder that you can support New Rockstars by checking out our merch options at NewRockstarsMerch.com. Follow me at EA Voss. Follow New Rockstars. Subscribe to New Rockstars for breakdowns of everything you love, and thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>